Okay, so some good news. There's a new Anytone 878, various models. Anytone 168 firmware update for the satellite mode predictions. I first found out about it on this group, on Norman Williams' group. This is a Facebook group. Just scroll down a bit. There's a post here and it's got the change log. I have got the firmware in. I'll show you it in a minute. Um, so these are the important changes. Improves the issue where the radio crashes at the satellite predicting feature, which I showed in a previous video. You can now add satellite predictions to the key function. So I've got it set at the top button. Long press the top button. So you can now use presets to bring up the satellite predicting. Makes the satellite function follow the time zone setting. Another one, it improves the satellite function to avoid dead satellites. So no more passes that are not actually happening. Modifies the satellite path to a green colour. So if I choose if I choose the ISS, the green is the path of the pass, and the red is the uh, the actual satellite. What have we got next? There's five, five fixed beacons that you can select. Instead of using your actual GPS location, you can choose a preset. Um, number eight. It resolves the issue where the radio switches map to the next satellite rising. What this means is, if you're looking at the ISS and the ISS has been up and gone down, if you leave it on that screen with the map, it goes on to the next satellite. So you can just leave it on that all day and work all the satellites coming. But before, it, it, it didn't change the name to the new one. So it wasn't actually clear that it was, uh, you know, what you were working. So uh, this is all very interesting and I'll be sure to test it out. This green on the right is is the signal of the satellite. I forgot to mention that on my previous videos. I've got a, a noise, a transmission, something nearby or interference. You know, that goes away. But that will be the signal strength of the actual satellite. And uh, what was I going to show you? I'll show you the ISS detector app and we'll see how accurate it is. Now I have set the time... On the Anytone, in settings, radio set, other settings, there is a time and date setting section. And in there, there's a, G, there's a set time using GPS. I think it's with GPS. It's, it, it just checks you've got the right time and adjusts it, so you're spot on. Um, so we've got the ISS up on the right on the actual radio. It says... Minus 33 minutes, that's no good. Uh, yeah, so there's a slight mismatch. 33 minutes on the radio and 35 on the ISS detector. 35 minutes, 24. But I think that mismatch is, a, is the way it's predicting the pass based on when it announces it at the elevation. So, uh, you know, one of them might be a different elevation that it's announcing it with. So let's try a different satellite. We'll try uh, SO50, that's always a good one. So, SO50. On the radio, it says it's coming over in 10 minutes 40. And on this one, SO50. Now, this is this is almost spot on. On here, it says 10 minutes 31. And over on the right, it, it's very similar. So, uh, the fact that the ISS is out, I think, that, I think that's to do with the elevation. But I'll be testing it later. 
and there's not really a lot more to show you that's it few bug fixes I tell you mate these any tones they uh, they've had so many firmware updates this has got to be the, the most amount of firmware updates for any radio they've just had tons and tons and they always fix it in the end so using the up down zone you get loads of other information and using the presets on the side it will go through the other passes of this same satellite so you can you can leaf through them and uh, you know if you're just particularly interested in one satellite anyway very interesting huge step forward and I'll be testing it later 73